This is just a little video about the uh, setting up for the next test and I'm posting this video because I know there are uh, a few people who have uh, been emailing me and they are sort of uh, copying what I'm doing and uh, uh, learning for themselves. So I hope you find it interesting. As I showed you in the last video, I've converted this camera or these lenses uh, to work with uh, the ZI-8 as uh, I want to uh, video the um, uh, a close-up of the action of the, the little cell that I showed you in HH25 and I've come up with all sorts of complicated ways of doing this and um, what I'm going to do in fact is because um, I want I'm, I want to video the uh, uh, the HHO from the side and I've got one of these little plastic containers uh, had some screws in and um, uh, what I'm going to do is have two electrodes um, these are the stainless steel wire that are out of a, a windscreen wiper and I've coated them with nylon powder uh, this is the uh, the sort of nylon powder that uh, bra underwires are coated with. There's uh, an application that I've uh, worked on. I've got a bit of the powder left over. Um, that is the uh, the end result. And the idea is, forgive me, I can't see if this is in focus or not. It's it's very difficult. These uh, little cameras with the uh, viewer on the back. Anyway, the idea is that these uh, wires will be uh, underwater and only the uh, the exposed uh, ends will be uh, where there's any action. And what I'm going to do, what I'm going to do is uh, have those wires on a little uh, framework uh, that I've put together or um, that I am putting together and because uh, you, you need to be able to adjust these things with a little bit of precision um, and uh, it, it gets very tricky you know you wind up spending hours making some mechanism uh, so I'm just using a, a couple of um, terminal strips and putting these wires in they're going to be bolted on there so they'll be fixed there, yeah, something like that, and then this just happens to sit nicely. Uh, uh, it nests nicely in there, and um, I put those wires in the wrong way round. Um, uh, what'll happen is uh, I can adjust uh, these wires so that I uh, get to see just uh, the area I want, uh, and that'll that'll be under underwater so I'll tidy that up and show you uh, what it looks like okay that's uh, a bit tidier so uh, as I say there'll be water in the tray and I'll be using purified water and then I'll be looking in there And I'll just slip uh, a close-up lens on. So that's the lens I'm going to use. That's the gap between the two electrodes. Um, so obviously I'm going to have some mechanical means of holding this lot together. By the way, one thing I should add is uh, if um, I hadn't have um, come up with the idea of uh, videoing from the side of the cell, what I was going to do was uh, introduce a, a little bit of mirror into the cell uh, so that I could uh, have the microscope looking down and then uh, into the uh, into the side of the action, as it were, uh, just so that I'm, I hadn't got the uh, the microscope directly above where the bubbles are. I hope that's clear. 
So hopefully you can see that uh, although it's not going to be a precision instrument, uh, it is at least adjustable. So as I can, uh, I've got control over the, uh, the the width of that gap, and then I can simply uh, uh, nip it up uh, in uh, in uh, the position uh, that I want. Um, anyway, uh, this is just a little video on the, the preparation for the next test. Um, thanks for watching, guys. Bye-bye.